What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys the 2025 video of the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. I'm going to be showing all sorts of clips from the past years that I've been using this laptop. This one's pretty um uh pretty much one I did recently of how to upgrade storage on the HP Pavilion. You guys can check that link down below if you guys want to upgrade the storage. We're going to have two games play through here. So I'm going to have Black Ops 6, which of course is a newer title, and we got Resident Evil 4 Remake. Some gameplay if you want to see those full-length videos, they are on my channel. Just go check them out on my playlist for the HP Pavilion. What are we talking about? Is this gaming laptop worth it after all these years in 2025? I did not do a 2024 video. And for that reason, I'm kind of just jumping, you know, kind of ahead of time just to show you, you know, it, it's still, you know, how well it still performs. I mean, you're seeing gameplay right here about 60 to 70 FPS on Black Ops 6. And the gameplay was so smooth, I was actually shocked because I'm going to be honest, I was waiting to get some stutter. You know, it's a newer game. Again, it is 2025. You would think this laptop would start to show its age. And don't get me wrong with someone. I do have a... Uh, 4070 super right now and my current build on PC 64 gigs of RAM. I mean, I've got a I've got a pretty good decent setup and you would think the it would be like a huge huge change and It definitely is in gameplay. However This laptop still performs better than most consoles out there like uh, PS5 for example or the new Xbox one X I played both of those with uh, similar games like Resident Evil 4 and Black Ops 6, and the, the HP Pavilion here just still prevails, honestly. It still has that kind of little edge for it being a PC, because I do think PC is a lot better than most consoles. And uh, that being said, guys, you know, it's still, it's still definitely a very good purchase in 2025. Again, links down in the description below if you guys like this laptop. For something also, like, of just like a secondary... Um, like, you know, I still use it as a secondary computer, so to speak, in case I ever need it or anything like that. It is one of the best laptops out there, I do think, especially on a budget. It's not too pricey, um, and it won't, you know, just break the bank like a, you know, custom PC build would. And, uh, it just, it definitely, and of course, the laptop's also mobile, of course. Um, so it's, it, it's definitely better in that aspect. And when you see, you know, like Resident Evil 4 here, this is when I first got the remake, when it first came out, I was playing on the HP Pavilion, and it's just, it just, the fact that it's able to play these games like this that are just, got so high-end graphics, and still be able to perform, because the biggest thing about it is, can it perform without lag, and like, like, you know, issues like that, and stuttering like that. Now, Resident Evil 4 here did, had a little bit of stutter here and there, um, but once you get going and kind of get the game and the laptop used to playing the game, so to speak, and launching it, it really didn't have any issues. But again, in 2025, the big question is, is this laptop still worth it? I do think 100% that this laptop is still very, 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 um, in fact, worth it. If you, you know, if you're, if you, it's, if you're looking for a laptop like this or a gaming laptop in general, I definitely say 100% that this gaming laptop is worth it. Um, that being said, there, you know, there are definitely more options out there as far as, like, gaming PCs, consoles, and stuff like that. But I do think, like I said, this laptop definitely prevails over the consoles and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, I've, like I said, I've not had any issues with this laptop for the years that I've had it. Let's see, I got it back in 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. So it's been, it's been almost six, seven years since I've had this laptop and it's still kicking, still going good. Of course, that also goes with maintenance. Do make sure to keep your maintenance up on your laptop and stuff like that, cleaning-wise. Um, I did add a, the additional RAM to it, so it has 16 gigs of RAM. So that being said, yes, the HP Pavilion gaming laptop is still worth it in 2025. It's still a great laptop and still does great performance with games and stuff like that, even these newer in games like Resident Evil 4 Remake and Black Ops 6. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about the laptop. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, do leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to try and get back to you about it. If you guys want to see different games, I did just do Marvel Marvel's uh, Rivals, and I can do, of course, more game tests on it. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.